Hello and welcome back. It's been a short break, but we return with a cracker at Highfield as Nottingham take on Durham. Nottingham started brightly as usual with Archie van der Fleer and Captain James Cherry combining neatly off a long line out throw. Second row, Rory Flack then picked a brilliant hole in the Durham line but was dragged down just short of the 22. Vice captain Henry Mortimer then dinked a grubber in behind for Connor Moyce, who displayed excellent footballing ability to dot down the opener. But Durham's pack quickly went to work off the line out, with Joshua Chinyemba eventually rumbling over. The men from the north then took the lead after some questionable exit play from scrum half Mortimer. His box kick was claimed well by Paul Brown before some lovely hands worked the ball out to Ollie Walker, who showed great speed to make it 12-7 to Durham. Durham capitalised on this momentum after claiming the ball from Max Brown's clearance. Some more neat hands from Durham brought the dangerous Paul Brown into the game before Locke Curran Maguire spotted a hole and finished well. The lead was 24-7 and Nottingham started to chase the game with some sloppy mistakes reaping into their game. Charlie Coe then showed some bite as he bounced Max Brown to the floor before a stunning bit of individual work from scrum half Max Pepper set up Marcus Rhodes for an easy score. Unfortunately, the floodgates seem to have opened after this, as Durham built on their lead. Flanker Willard broke down the right-hand side with Paul Brown on his shoulder, and Max Pepper got his reward when Brown popped the ball into his hands to make it 29-7 to Durham. Ed Timpson did claim a consolation for Knotts when he bundled over from close range, but ultimately it proved to be futile. A tough loss for Nottingham, who will now turn their sights on mid-table Cardiff Met next week. <laughs>